In this tutorial, we will implement a custom weapon device. If you want more videos like this, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And if you want to access the code or the assets of the tutorial or looking for help, you can check our Patreon in the description. Let's continue the tutorial. Hello everyone, in this video we are going to do a um, custom weapon device. Uh, so this device will be uh, able to show a one um, custom melee weapon um, and then also it, it's able to show a custom minigun um, so the code of it is pretty simple and we um, we have all these meshes uh, like custom weapon meshes and the uh, VFXs for this and also the minigun so if you want to um, uh, if you want these assets um, you can check them out um, from our Patreon, uh, of course, I'm going to show you the code. Uh, also, it is, I mean, the code is quite simple for this one. Um, so the, actually the hard part, I'm going to ask the difficult part, not so difficult is just to make, uh, just, you know, uh, since we are um, uh, like shoving the VFX on top of the actual like weapons the player holds, so actually the um, the more uh, a bit challenging part is to enable the um, um, VFX uh, rotation and um, uh, and the offset so that like uh, it seems like the player is um, holding the weapon right. <clears throat> but uh, this is like um, this is a uh, this is a, a per let's uh, what to say. This is, a, this is a per weapon thing, so when you're doing a mesh like this to um, show with the VFX, um, show with the VFX, uh, you need to you know uh, like do a per weapon adjustment. Uh, that's why um, this device is able to show. Uh, so there's a limitation of it. So um, and I'm going to show you how it works, but. Uh, you can only have like one type of custom weapon, uh, custom melee weapon at a time, because what what we are doing is we are showing it, we are uh, putting these custom melee weapons on top of the basic sword. So you can't, because we can't, uh, with code, we can't discern uh, like which one you're, you're currently um, holding because we are just going to put it on top of the um, basic sword. So uh so you can't have like two basic swords in your inventory and then you you can sh uh you show uh, like uh this purple one on one of it and then the um like the blue one uh, on one of it because you can't like store that per um base uh, per sword per fortnite item um state so it's not available yet um you know we don't have any access uh, for the weapons but we can do a you know a little bit customization still. So what we do is simply using um, the conditional button for the sword. Uh, we just keep uh, keep a state on which custom melee weapon we are currently holding, and then if the basic weapon basic uh, sword is being held, uh, which we use the conditional button for that, then we are showing um, the um, the weapon itself uh, using a you know. Uh, VFX uh, pickup. All right, we're putting it on the right hand slot. Uh, additionally, we are also handling a minigun, which is the same thing, but um, you know, we are using a conditional button and a VFX. But let me show how everything works. So we have an array uh, here, custom melee weapons. So here we can, we need to set all the, um, uh, tr uh, so we need to set the power-ups and the triggers for each um, custom weapon so um, we have like three um, custom melee weapons so we have three triggers and then when you look at the VFXs it's just a so it's just a visual effect power-up device um, with uh, you know uh, with infinite duration um, and actually it will be better if I close the ambient audio we don't need that 
and we have the uh, so we are putting it on the right hand that's important because the player is going to hold the weapon with your right hand and the um, custom effects excludes uh, so this index is zero um, so this is important uh, this is also zero with the minigun um, because uh, we need to when like we are when we are switching um, the VFXs we want those VFXs to overwrite each other so these this index needs to be zero for that and then you know these all any and visible to local player and all that um, um, so then we, we do that for all three of our customly weapons right then we have a sword grantor so this is just an where is that this is just an item grantor with a basic sword in it so because we um, like adjusted these VFX, melee weapon VFXs and the meshes so that it just sits right with the basic sword. Um, so uh, we have um, like we have uh, modeled them from scratch just so that it adjusts to basic sword. Um, then we have the melee weapon remover. So we have an item remo remover that removes the um a basic sword we are doing this to you know make sure that player only holds one basic sword when we do a trigger because base um, we don't want to fill the um, uh, inventory of the player with a lot of unnecessary uh, basic swords and then we have an empty vfx power up so this is just the same thing right right hand um, socket and then a custom effect infiltration and then uh, the index is zero so we are using this to basically overwrite an existing um, melee weapon or minigun vfx and to clear out basically um, then sword conditional button so this is just a conditional button with a um, sword as the key item so we have we are doing this to we are using a conditional button because uh, it's the only way to know if a, a player is holding a an item so we do, by using this uh, sword conditional button we know if the player is holding the conditional button or not and then for the minigun we basically we have the same things uh, laid out separately because we handle the minigun separately but it's basically same thing but uh, we don't use the remover because um, because we are not like switching miniguns if you were we would like remove use a remove uh, item remover as well but we are not switching miniguns like we do switch believe weapon, so we don't use that uh, so and these are the same stuff with the sword like trigger grantor um, conditional button and the vfx right this ns uh, uh, underscore weapon underscore seven is the um, vfx of the minigun right <clears throat> and so let me show you the code real quick so we have the agent data we are holding the state uh, of are we like holding the melee weapon or the minigun and if you are holding the melee weapon like what's the index of that so here is the melee weapon data uh, it's init function it just initializes the state um, and then listens to the trigger events and on the trigger events uh, it calls to the like main function uh, uh, the function uh, in the main device so they all I, I already showed all all of this here um, this is the agent map where we keep the state this is the variable which we know if the game is active or not I mean this is actually not necessarily to uh, this is not um, necessary um, to do but uh, you know in some cases uh, it might cause a crash if you are like um, running an async loop like this that doesn't break um, that might cause a crash I mean it shouldn't but it, um, sometimes UFN fails to clear up um, your um, devices data um, correctly so it might cause a crash on round ends um, so this basically um, um, uh, like prevents that like or, or aims to prevent that so we start uh, we set this to true on on begin and then we set it to end on game end <clears throat> and uh in the async uh, like loop we like break it if the game is not active anymore um 
so yeah, in on begin we initialize all the custom Lee weapons, right? We listen to the trigger event of the minigun, then we spawn that I async function. This basically checks all the time, like which item the player is holding, and then switches the VFXs according to that. If a minigun grant is triggered, uh, like if the data is not initialized, we initialize it. Like we set the state so that um, it's uh, set the state as uh, uh, this player is holding the minigun. We grant the minigun, then we pick up the VFX. Uh, and with the melee weapon, it's the same thing. We are setting the state so that we are uh, like holding the melee weapon. Um, and then uh, we are um, removing the melee weapon and then granting it again because, you know, we have multiple melee weapons and uh, basically we are doing what we are doing here. We are also granting, but we are also kind of switching the melee weapon. So you, you will uh, understand in a second when I show you uh, in the scene. Uh, so then we like pick it up and then uh, we are running this like at uh, each 200 milliseconds, which is um, good enough. So for each player, um, we look like, uh, are you holding the m any, are you holding the melee weapon? Like, are you holding a basic uh, sword? Uh, and if that's the case, and if you're holding a melee weapon is false, this means that like uh, in like you switched your weapon, um, you have the basic sword, you have the melee weapon, but you switched it and then you came back. That means I need to s pick up the melee VFX again. So um, I set all the, um, uh, I set the minigun state to false and then I set the melee uh, weapon state to true. And then, you know, I set the flag to switch the melee weapon. And minigun is the same. We're just doing that for the minigun. And if uh, we are uh, not holding anything, right, but we have a state that is set as we are holding something, then we are just setting those to uh, false, and then we are switching to the empty VFX because we want we need to clear that like VFX that we are holding. Um, so we are here. We are picking the empty VFX power up. So we, uh, and here we are um, picking up the melee power up. And uh, here we are picking up the uh, minigun power up. Uh, and of course, since we are um, um, pulling this VFX from the array, it's a failable action and it can it can fail. So if it fails, it shouldn't. But uh, if somehow it fails, we make sure we are like uh, switching that state back to false um, to make sure that we are not keeping any. Um, like um wrong state uh all right and actually that's the entire code and i think i already show that re really slowly um so yeah all right um and you can access all these uh, assets on our for, and the code from our patreon uh, and we are going to give uh, from on patreon you're going to get all these as Maybe not all, but probably most, especially the VFXs as U assets. So when importing U assets, you don't like right click and import. Um, you just um, like copy paste the U assets into the contact uh, directory, uh, into the into the contact uh, content directory directory of your project, the, um, like on the file explorer directly. Uh, but make sure you're also doing this while the UFN is closed. Or it might not like it might cause a crash and uh, like it might grab some stuff. Um, but after you like, copy paste the assets while your fan is closed, when you then you when you open up your project again, um, you should see all of those U assets there. Um, and even if some like materials are like missing some text references, like you can. Um, set them yourself because there's not you know there's not much anything um, there's not there's not much stuff um, so yeah uh, so let me go to the uh, where is that let me go to the fortnite keep playing let me start the game okay All right so so this is the first melee weapon. So as you can see, I have the basic sword, but I'm holding a custom weapon and 
you can use it i can do it, anything with it and it looks really smooth because as i said like we adjusted like we did these models from scratch so that to make sure that it fits just right with the uh, melee weapon and i can now come here to trigger this and i can get the other weapon right and then i can switch to the other weapon and this is the minigun since it's something different i can just hold the minigun and the melee weapon at the same time but when i want to get a different um, melee weapon i need to switch it with the one i have in my hand so and i can get another weapon here to show you that when you like switch between weapons uh, like uh, oh, vfx works nicely and you can see on the top left that it says like switching to melee switching to empty blah blah and we can shoot the minigun like this right um and and actually uh, you know what um, this is all um and this is a e very easy to set up, very easy to use device that can like, differentiate your PvP map from the other ones. Um, so that was all. Um, to access the code or the assets of this video, you can check our Patreon. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe and share if you've enjoyed. And also leave a comment on what tutorial you would want to see next. See you later.